Now we'll look at finding the volume of a cylinder. Now a cylinder is just something like a can or a circular tank, a barrel. Those kind of things are all in the shape of cylinders. Here we have a couple. There's a formula we can use to find the volume of a cylinder. That is the V or the volume equals the height of the cylinder times pi which we use 3.14 times r squared now what we're really doing is this part of the formula should seem familiar pi r squared pi r squared is just the formula for the area of a circle we find that area then we multiply by the height that gives us our volume so that's where that formula comes from let's take a look at this first cylinder we want to find the volume so we have v equals h is the height the height of this particular cylinder is 11.4 feet so 11.4 times pi we'll use 3.14 for pi then times r squared r is the radius 5.5 and we want to square that now According to the order of operations, we need to take care of that squared piece first. And remember, squared means times itself. So it's 5.5 times 5.5, which gives us 30.25. I'll rewrite everything here. So we have 11.4 times 3.14 times 30.25. Then we go ahead and multiply all those. So we have 30.25. We're going to multiply that by 3.14 times 11.4, which gives us 1,082.829. Now, since we only had one decimal point there and one decimal point there we shouldn't really end up with three decimal points let's round that to the nearest tenth so this would round so about the same as 1082.8 now when we're talking about volume volume is how many little cubes that are one unit by one unit would it take to fill this space up so cubes that means we are trying to we're gonna work with cubic units so our label is gonna be cubed so we have feet cubed or cubic feet let's take a look at this cylinder now in this one the 12 inches is this entire distance that entire distance is called the diameter we need the radius in our formula so to find the radius from the diameter we simply divide it by two so the radius in this figure would be six inches okay now that we have our radius 29 inches is our height if we flip the can over uh, set it down we would see that the 29 inches is the height so we're going to go ahead and fill those into our formula we have v equals h the height 29 times pi 3.14 times the radius squared 6 squared okay we need to square that 6 first so we have v equals 29 times 3.14 times 6 times 6 remember squared means we multiply this that many times times 36 then we need to multiply all that stuff together so we have 29 times 3.14 times 36 which gives us 3278.16 oops 3278.16 we'll round that to the nearest tenth again so we have about 
point two, because remember, we look to this spot, that's a six, which is bigger than five, so this number is gonna get bigger, so we get point two. Again, volume, our label is cubed, so we have inches cubed or cubic inches. Again, that means we could fit a, just a touch over 3,278 cubes that are one inch by one inch by one inch into this figure. Again, to find the volume of a cylinder, we use this formula right here where we take the height of our, of our cylinder, multiply it by pi, times the radius squared. That gives us our volume. Remember volume, the label is cubed. We always end up with an answer in some type of cubic units.